Swing today. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Today I'm going to be doing the prediction show for Talladega. But first we need to talk about last week at Kansas. Kansas was actually not as exciting as I expected. There was not a lot of action. We saw Kevin Harvick won last week. So it wasn't that exciting of a race. We saw a few incidents, but it wasn't too big, I'd say. Kyle Busch and Carl Edwards were racing hard for second place during the end of the race. So... I thought it was going to be Kyle Busch. He did not. He actually ended up finishing fifth. This week, anything is unpredictable, so you don't really know who's going to win. Without further ado, we need to get on to talk about this week at Talladega. Talladega is the biggest track on the circuit. It's 2.66 miles. It's a super speedway, similar to Daytona. You're going to find me crazy for saying this, but it's somewhat similar to Richmond in the ways that it looks a lot like Richmond. It's a bigger version of Richmond. Richmond has the start-finish line not in the center of it so it's similar in that way also in the way that there's a lot of action a lot of wrecks at richmond so that's why i think it's similar to richmond i know you're gonna find me crazy for thinking that but it is similar to richmond it's gonna be a super fast track it always is it makes for a lot of excitement you know a lot of drivers will tell you that it's really a fun track to race at so it can be very it can be very entertaining to watch because there's a lot of wrecks. We saw in the truck race yesterday that there were a lot of wrecks. So if we saw that in the truck race, just think what we could see in the cup race today. I'm really excited to find out. We've seen a lot of incidents in the past years. We saw Carl Edwards in 2009 crash into the catch bench on the final lap. We saw back in 1996 where Ricky Craven went up into the catch fence. So we've seen a lot of incidents like that. Pretty big wrecks we've seen in the past years. We saw Kurt Busch go flying through the back stretch back in 2013. We saw Chris Buescher back in the spring. He went flying through the back stretch too. So we see a lot of incidents very often at Talladega, which are <laughs> scary. We saw three flips back in the spring race. It's insane. But I think now I need to move on to my prediction anyway because this video is already taking longer than I wanted it to. I've been filming for 16 and a half minutes because I had to go do other stuff. So anyway, my prediction for this week, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be a difficult choice because a lot of drivers do very good at the track and a lot of drivers do bad at the track. If Dale Jr. were racing this weekend, I'd predict Dale Jr., but he's not. So Chase Elliott, I don't think he has that good of a shot because in the chase so far, he has not done too good. Denny Hamlin, though, is going to be my prediction because though he has not done good in the chase, he has done good this season. He won the Talladega race back in 2014. So I think Denny Hamill will win. Who do you guys think will win? Put that down in the comment section below. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Stay strong, guys. Have a fantastic day today, and I will see you later.